We interrupt my Vegas slots to bring you Legends of the Hidden Temple. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks, Ace here. And today we are going to play a little bit of Omet's Legacy. So this is a new game that we've got right here. And I want to go ahead and see how we do after 100 spins. So let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Okay, so this one is obviously a sequel to Omet's Gold. And then we'll go ahead and see how this one compares. So here's one thing that I really wanted to go ahead and discuss. I really wanted to discuss the fact that MGM is really screwing up. And they're screwing up bad this go around, guys. They have decided to completely, uh, well, almost completely, cut the veterans discount as well as the what else was it it was the uh, senior discount at their casinos and hotels so before just naturally just for showing up you get uh, pearl level benefits being a veteran and being a uh, senior citizen you'd get a 10% off so that's a that's like a pearl level benefit so you get 10% off of retail 10% off of uh, hotel rooms 10% off of basically everything except for whatever you put in through the slot machine there but ever since uh, MGM decided to announce their new uh, their, just their new policy and their new uh, what do you call those things? Resort fees. Those terrible, terrible things. I was thinking of a four-letter word for them, unfortunately. But I've decided to settle back with resort fees. Uh, their new resort fees, which are uh, another $6 on top of what they had done last year. So places like Aria and Bellagio are sitting at $45 for resort fees before tax now. Which is just obtuse, to say the, to say the least. So in addition to that, they've decided to go ahead and cut back on the discount. Funny thing is, though... They decided to keep the AAA discount exactly the same. The AAA discount, if you're a AAA member, is still 10%. So I have to, had to look into that, and I'm wondering what the actual hell Jim Murin and his friends, quote-unquote, at MGM are really doing there. And they're just, they're just really biting the hand that feeds them, and I'm actually getting a little concerned about other casinos on the Las Vegas Strip and how they're going to start treating their veterans and their senior customers. Which, well, you know, all things considered, I mean, I'm not a, not a veteran, not going to be a senior anytime soon, but I, you know, I do know a fair amount of seniors. Uh, we actually do have a few, uh, few folks that are uh, senior citizen aged that do watch this channel and that do deserve their 10% discount because, you know, they did, you know, they've done a lot for the country, they've done a lot for society as themselves, you know, themselves, and, you know, hey, they deserve their uh, 10% right there, and so do our veterans, the, the, I mean, they've put in some real work on their own, just doing their own thing, and, you know, 10%, that's the least we can do. Realistically, they should be doing a lot more than that, but 10%, that's the least that uh, they could do. Oh, what is this? We got a hidden idol. All right, interesting. Do we get to keep anything? All right. So next challenge, we get a mystery prize. Okay. A lot of be interesting to see what happens there. So I'm really mad at Jim Murin and MGM even more so than usual because let's be honest, Jim Murin is probably one of the worst CEOs of all time. Yeah, granted, he's making MGM some money. But he keeps signing off on these terrible decisions, and I'm sure they're not 100% him. I'm just kind of blaming him because he's the he's the big man on campus, and that's what you do. You blame the big man on campus when terrible things happen, and he is, in fact, the big man on campus. So, he's kind of my target here for my rants. Uh, but, it kind of makes you wonder what he's thinking. Why bite the hand that feeds you? Uh, you know, I, I was talking to, I mean, we canceled one trip already uh, in October, and I'm really kind of leaning towards canceling our uh, December trip as well, too, and just playing uh, Binions from now on, and only playing Wind Slots, and then just uh, patronizing those properties as well. Uh, although when uh, their resort fee isn't exactly great either, uh, thankfully Four Queens and Binions, they haven't gotten sucked into the resort fee game yet, so they haven't... Uh, gotten down on that. In fact, that's actually one of their selling points downtown, 
is that very few of those casinos down there do have resort fees. Golden Nugget still has them. I think there's something like $30 at Golden Nugget, which is still considerably better than some of the places on the Strip where they're, you know, 45 bucks plus tax. I think there's something around like $32 after tax and everything over at uh, Golden Nugget downtown. Oh, wait, hey, look at this. We actually got ourselves a bonus. What is this? How did we trigger this? We got orbs, triple orbs, and they're going to make more orbs. wonder what this does. Is this it? Oh no, it's going to keep going. Adds another orb. How many of these orbs do I need to... Oh, that's another orb, okay. These are all wilds? What? Okay, 9.2 uh, million. All right, not too bad. That's a pretty fun little uh, mini game there. No idea how I triggered that. Gonna have to look back into that later. Uh, but yeah, no, back to back to Jimmy. Oh, there it goes again. Okay, so this was something that they were advertising. I think on the My Vegas Facebook page, they were advertising this, talking about how to make this game pay off really hoping that we get something out of the bonus just the free spins here I wonder if we get more of these during the free spins and let's see where this goes okay this isn't too bad it might be that how we do all wild okay another 4.3 million okay cool cool I wonder what sets these off I have no idea what set those off I just saw the ball Come in the little green energy ball. Come in. Looked like it was something out of Dragon Ball Z. Looked like Broly just popped up and said, "Oh, Broly, going to give you free spin. Broly strongest there is, because Broly is like the Hulk of Dragon Ball Z. If, in case you guys don't know. But you know, that aside, let's go ahead and not get distracted from Jim Murin and what he's doing over at MGM. Do you guys plan on patronizing MGM properties in the future? Just given what kind of nonsense he's doing, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, just based on what he's doing. I mean, my Vegas is a great time and it's a great way to save some money there. So I don't mind getting stuff for free from them, but I'm definitely not going to be gambling down there anymore. So I will not be getting the free play there. Or if I do, I'll just burn the free play and then give them nothing else. And I'll just take the whatever money I've won from them and I'll bring it to another casino. Uh, maybe like Caesars uh, slash El Dorado now that they've been taken over. Or, you know, just anywhere else because I, I'm not sure if MGM really deserves our money like that anymore. In fact, you know what? We've, re we've replaced our uh, October trip with a locals casino trip. So if you guys want to see how that goes, the local casino trip, go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below and we'd be happy to go ahead and let you know how that goes and we'll even do a little vlog of that too. So I look forward to doing that. And let's see how this extra... Man, we got some pretty good bonuses on this. This is actually kind of good. I really kind of wish that there were bigger bonuses. Let's get one more. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, so we got at least four of a kind. Let's see, upper right-hand corner. Okay, nice, nice. So two four of a kinds, for sure. 25 million. That's the biggest one we've seen all session here. I wouldn't mind getting one more of those. It looks like when we get those uh, little energy orbs with the glowing bits there, that's when we actually do get those little energy balls, and that's when we get our bonus. But they have to be in that space, otherwise it doesn't count. All right. The last few spins here. Tell me what you guys think. Are you going to be patronizing MGM in the future? Or are you just going to take their free stuff with my Vegas and not give them any more money? Um, are you not going to bother with the tier discounts anymore because they ruin their tier discounts too? I think all tiers get something like, uh, you know, just 10% off or something obtuse like that, which really kind of annoys me too. And let's see how we do here. I think this is our last spin. Let's see how we do on this last spin here. Okay, cool, cool. 11 million, 11 million. All right. Okay, so it looks like we ended at 575,925,129 chips. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here. I'm going to do some maths, and of course, we shall count up the booty. Legendary deals in D. 
indeed. Oh my god. Omet's Legacy has probably got to be one of the worst games we've gotten. Flashy, uh, you know, flashy special effects and bonus games aside, we came back with a 49.98% payback. Even if you round that up to 50, that means we still lost half the chips we put in here. So Omet's Legacy is a no-go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put up another poll after this. I saw that this game came out, so I kind of held off on the poll. But let's go ahead and see what other games we should play. Uh, sorry for doing two of these back-to-back. -back. I had some audio rendering problems with the last video about the chips, but we're going to go ahead and get that squared away, and I'll have that squared away for you um, probably by Sunday, if not Monday, and then it'll be a good time. So until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.